welcome. I want to say to each and every person, thank you um, for supporting my channel and welcome if this is your first time. I hope you will return. Please remember to like and share and join to become a member of this channel. Um, Happy New Year to each and every person and um, this is the energy update for 2020 what is coming in. All right, 2020 is a restart button, okay? And what that means is that for each and every person on this planet, you are going to be receiving um, a new start, okay? And how this new start works is that each and every person is going to be aware of um, the dimension shift where and the conscious shift on this planet, okay? Because we have just finished a century and as we move into this new century and move in the Aquarian time out of the Pisces time, we're realizing um, and we're feeling the shift of energy on this planet. If you realize there is a lot of new stuff that is happening where a lot of people are, um, are thinking about the whore zone, Leia, and that sort of a thing. Um, as a person, you also feel the shift. Some people want to know, you know, am I living in the fourth dimension? Am I living in the fifth dimension? The last time I'm getting a lot of these questions. Now, in order to know if you have moved out of the third dimension, because first we were all born in the third dimension. We were all born in, and even if you're a Buddha, you were born in the third dimension and you became um, um, in the fourth dimension. And then as you move forward, you become in the fifth dimension, okay? So what is happening is that um, people like myself were born with nine DNA straw active, with 12 DNA straw activated. Some of us is nine. Um, and what we have to realize is that on this planet, not all of us is the same. And this is something that is going to be very, very much aware um in the year 2020 because a lot of people are going to be realizing you know i've been hearing this and people are going to be going out and looking for answers to find out now it's very easy to find out there's a lot of quiz there's a lot of questions but um not all of the questions are really um um there sometimes um, a lot of people are complaining that when they take the questionnaire to find out who they are, um, indigo and crystal people are so close because they're healers, okay? So um, sometimes it is not that uh, um, clear whether you're indigo or a crystal, okay? So um, in order to do that, you have to connect to the indigo or crystal groups. There's a lot of them on internet and thanks to YouTube, um, because you can see a lot of these uh, um, um, elemental beams are coming out, okay? Because we have the witches and we have uh, um, the fairies and that sort of a thing. So they're all coming out in their own form and in their own ways. Um, we need to stop looking at people of uh, um, how they look at things and that sort of a thing, because we're not the same and we, and you know, we were never the same and we will never be the same, okay? So we need to understand that. And we need to understand that some people have more information. Some people can um, have more inner wisdom than some, okay? So nobody is better than each other. It's just that some of us um, like multi-dimension, star seed and, um, and, and indigos, uh, crystal child, golden child, um, all of these people are, um, very, very highly sensitive and very um, um, intelligent, okay? So in order to find out these things and, you know, going back and looking at bloodlines because a lot of DNA, and this is the reason um, why the DNA tests actually came out is that people wants to know um, where the, their backgrounds, because people start to realize that they feel certain things or they may be born in one culture, but feel so much for another culture, that sort of a thing. So they created DNA tests, but also to find out who belongs to who and, um, 
you know what kind of blood you are or what what is what is your foreparents background and that sort of a thing so dna test was created for that so that people could have more information about who they are and their backgrounds and why they are who they are okay um one of the most important thing and i want to do um give this out to especially um thank you to each and every person that has been investigating identify identity theft and people who have been um, researching and cutting down on mensa smuggling child um, smuggling and that sort of a thing thank you so much um i was alarmed to a lot of things in the last two and a half years because i was uh, um my um in 2012 something happened that i realized uh, at that moment uh, um that i had to um investigate what exactly was happening and um whatever um maybe that was my divine part because um 2012 was when um like a huge change was in my life okay because of that it took me to um it took me home it took me home and uh, um uh i started investigating what was going on actually i went on vacation and uh, i realized my information was changed and it took me um to start investigating to see something so last two and a half years um so i want to say thank you also to someone and people don't believe in angels but there are angels walking around on this earth um because of the investigation i was doing um i actually found out a lot of stuff and my life was on the line and actually four times i remember um uh tw twice very well that they tampered with my truck uh, that i was driving and the second time there was a crash right so and for every time my life was safe because i remember the first time when they tampered with my truck the only thing that i had was just a flat tire so um and i remember <laughs> I remember um, going across, I, I remember my truck just spin out of control, just nothing was, and, and I saw a truck, I was like, it's okay, I'm ready to go. And I closed my eyes and then the truck just end up in a, a side street. And all I had was a flat tire. And I just pull, pushed the button and asked for help. So thank you to all the people. Um, they were there in 10 minutes. I only had a flat tire. So that was my first time. And that was when I really, really know that I was really protected. So um, sometimes things happen to people and people don't really understand. The second time my cousin was with me and she was like, oh my God. And I said to her, don't scream, don't scream. It's okay. It's going to be okay. So um, I've gotten away um, with two of the times. The third time was that someone send some food for me to eat and I didn't eat the food and um I was like you know something um let me show people that not everyone you can use um food to um to affect and I did that and a little piece of it I was so sick so um thanks to a good friend of mine when I was in Florida that went and got something for me and I, I I was feeling much better so forgiveness is the key and I'm at the point where I am I'm basically forgiven people am I going to forget this no I'm not going to forget this because what has happened and transpired is that ladies and gentlemen your information is being used okay 
And right now, I, governments of the world is trying to cut down on that because, for example, you can see China that is having a camera in the classroom. And it is because they want to know who were born on their soil from, you know, from the kindergarten going up. And that is the reason why China has that. And I want to say um, to um, Europeans and Americans, you got to be so um, careful in this coming years. I see the governments, they're all working on protecting their borders and protecting the people of their countries. So I see that is happening. And thanks to all the countries that have joined together um, to cut down on people smuggling and um, and uh, this sort of a deceptive uh, um, situation that is going on, this sort of a shadow company. And that is the energy of uh, 2020 is that whatever um, shadow company is working, it's going to be taken down. It's going to be broken down. And I've said this and I've said this always in every corporation, huge corporation, government institution and organization, there's always just that one person that will do a deed and think they will get away, but they will never get away because um, when you take a halt to work for a certain organization or institute so that has to do with people information, you take an oath to keep that and not accessing people information when you're not supposed to, okay? So thanks again to all um, government institutes and organizations that is working so hard um, to um, protect our borders and protect people whether or not they're in a country or not, but there is a part of this country. So um, thanks and thanks again, whoever came up with the idea for iris skin, I want to say thank you so much. Whoever has invented that iris skin, thank you so much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the future is, uh, to in order to protect yourself, the future is uh, digitalized, okay? Everything is going to be digitalized, okay? So that is the future. That is the century that we're moving in. If you can't uh, um, um, read or write, um, digitalization is going to be helping you because that is where the future is going we can see a lot of stuff start to go in now the first thing is the protection of identification and for the americans uh, it is good to use lifelock okay use lifelock because if you're living anywhere else in the world lifelock will help to protect your information okay um, there has been a lot of breach of breaking in 2019. 2019 was a freak year. Okay. It was the year when all the freaks comes out. It was the year when, and not freaks in the sense of freaks, but freaks in the sense of craziness. It was just crazy. Everything that was happening in 2019 was just crazy. I remember standing at the airport and I see these people try to take me down like, for a lot of money and my suitcase was already paid for and I told you guys about this and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking oh my god this is like animals you know that it's like you're preying on someone and you know whatever whatever creates that um that energy of people being so horrible to other people um, just because they think they're in alignment of to use their powers in that way. And that is going to be the shift in 2020 because all these people that have been being a very deceptive, these are the people that is going to be feed out of organization and there is going to be um, more crystal people, indigos, and uh, because those are the people that... Um, their, their their social energy is is so soft and is so empathic um and uh, um ladies and gentlemen we have to um start become um humans as you will um for the ones who are humans and stop using that uh, animalistic instinct because we're creating so much negative energies on this planet that 
you will not even realize what is happening 2020 is about positivity it's about going forward and going um, in a positive way in the future there is a lot of people I want to say thank you to and um, first of all um, my good friend Didi um, you know I really care about you I really love you thank you so much um, my partner who really helps me with on um, life and someone who saved my life in Florida who alert me um, that my life was going to be taken and they alert me on time and I got out so thank you to that person um, if someone is watching and knowing but I think you're always you were always watching me and um, thank you so much uh, thank you for that lady who called me and let me know that um, the accident was supposed to take on my life thank you again <laughs> um, thank you so much um, there has been so many people that I've met on my journey and in the last two and a half years in America um, however you have crossed my part whether in a good part or in a bad part um, thank you thank you so much um, life as uh, um, and every time I look back at it I realized that I had to be um, where I was for two and a half years because I was the one that was chosen to bring out whatever information I found out and um, um, it teach me not to be afraid um, it teach me not to be afraid and it taught me um, to give up my life to save 10,000 people and to protect 10,000 people identity um, it, you know it, it, it was it was it was really um, good to do okay so for all the rest of the people who I haven't said thank you to I want to say um, life has blessed us and you have crossed my part for whatever reason okay and I will um, continue my work and I will continue my journey I have to in order to um, protect my family I have to um, make a certain decision because of the part that I've chosen to protect um, the other people other innocent people because we were just innocent bystanders um, that um, people have access and I'm one of these people because I'm spiritual I can't stand back and look at injustice and do nothing I am not one of those people um, who stand back and look at injustice and I remember I wrote a book in 2015 which I haven't published and um, I remember I said to my partner um, if anything should happen publish this book so people will know the truth and that book is not yet published and um, ladies and gentlemen life is full of surprises because I had no idea um, when I was a child that I would be the one to stand up against these um, these injustice these people who have been um, just praying on other innocent people okay just praying on others innocent people and that people can go so far which um, was something that I was alert at I remember coming back home to Europe because I've been living here for over um, over 20 years I've been I've been here so long ladies and gentlemen um, that I basically going back home to America it was um, a shift of energies because I realized how far European was with like certain things especially um, a lot of stuff and I realized that the progress that we were having like Silicon Valley brings out everything but the Europeans was like so progressive and so further and it was like balancing out and this is why I gave a message that 
last year if you go back and listen to my reading um, a lot of European countries are working with America because the shift on this planet is should have begun from out America but it's going to be beginning from out of Germany because Germany seems to be so far with the ascension flow because a lot of people are awakening in Germany and they have been awakened for a very long time and a lot of people would say Germany yes Germany okay and uh, if you are aware in Germany Germany has like in Europe one of the uh, most countries that has crystal in the ground okay so you can have you will not believe this but um, like places like Trio in Germany there is so crystal um, in the heart uh, the heart so um, that is the reason why Germans are so activated another place that there is a lot of crystal um, in the herd cross it is the island the island of Cuba and the island of Jamaica and if you notice whenever you're brown or you're in these islands Jamaica and Cuba um, you realize the how happy you are because um, um, the crystal form and the shape okay as I have always said to a lot of people um, you need to educate yourself um, under the sea cross of Cuba, that is where they've said that Atlantis has sunk, the lost city of Atlantis has sunk. And that is why there is so much crystal and the people who comes out of the regions of those countries. And you need to go back and be aware of your history and the connections of how people in um, the first and second world war there was a lot of Germans who went to the islands they were in search of uh, the Antillians and they came up on the West Indies and that sort of a thing and a lot of German descendants have stayed over in those countries so educate yourself ladies and gentlemen and this is why um, the crystal form on this earth and the 12 crystal skulls have been found now the t the crystal skulls it was asian civilization that has planted these 12 crystal skull these 12 crystal skull have computer have information that is left here on this planet and as they are found and is placed in the right position on this planet there will be a crystal grid and um, consciousness people are going to become awakened and conscious in a more rapid speed okay there is 50 50,000 um, years left on this planet because the the planet is going towards the Sun and as closer the planet goes towards the Sun it is when the planet is going to be burned out okay so we have to Ascension is about making the choice um, to make a decision. How are you going to be elevating yourself and getting off of this planet? Um, the um, American Indians, Native Indians, have done this essential process millions, millions of years ago. And some indigo kids and indigos come back um, from the first civilization. Um, some multi dimension people and starseed people have had many lifetimes on this planet. Each and every time over uh, 400 years, this planet uh, um, rebirth itself because there is to too much um, people on this planet. And that's why it has to rebirth itself. And this is why. Um, when people are coming out and say this and that and they're killing this type of group of that type of group of no it's just the natural form of life ladies and gentlemen no one is killing anyone off it's the natural form of life uh, you have to understand that certain um we didn't exist out of nothing and there are higher powers that is watching over us and i'm not talking about earth people there are higher powers that is watching over us you need to go and find out who are the white brotherhood okay and it's not hurtlings it's higher beams 
from different solar system that is guarding this solar system so people you need to educate yourself in December a whole lot of information is going to be coming out about other beams and people another thing educate yourself no one is UFO unidentified flying object okay but now we are um, have elevated ourselves not from out of the cave people time there is no more unidentified flying object okay that was in the cave time that was before you and I was born when um, at the time of the moon the full moon then the cave people and you know there is no unidentified it's all spiritual beams it's all other different light beams so who are in a different solar system that is watching over their um, soul family here okay lesson if and when the truth comes out and if you want to know the truth there is just so many different other people that is uh, um, giving out this information and it's up to you to go and find the truth okay it's up to you to remove the veil of illusions you can go check out my book my book is always on the website it's an ebook it is removing the veil of illusions okay so what is transpiring is that this shift that is coming up it's like a restart button it's like each and every one of us is going to get a chance to really move forward each and every one of us is really going to get a chance to move forward and to make a new start in our life so we're going to be deprogramming ourselves and reprogram ourselves or we don't have to program ourselves but we can create new um dimensional shift for ourselves that is what is going to be happening so we are going to be deprogramming ourselves releasing ourselves of this program remove ourselves from the matrix and connect with the oneness and the con the the cosmo of oneness and the cosmic heart the cosmic art is the universal system where people of like minds and like mind people are going to be connecting to bring positive energy on this planet just like a lot of people say praying can help praying can make changes people are not aware of your thoughts how powerful your thoughts are but it is a year where you're going to be understanding the negative thought that you send to someone else is going to affect you so you gotta beware whatever that is forming um, lower energy or negative energy is going to be start to shift off the planet as of 2020 so expect a lot of people to be passing over um, just like in the month of December um, 2019 a lot of people were passing over so expect that a lot of people are passing over a lot of people just multiple people are just going to be passing over because they can't deal with a shift on this planet this is why people like myself at volunteer I'm not reincarnated ladies and gentlemen and not all of us starseed multi-dimension uh, starseed multi-dimension um, crystal kids indigo kids we are not reincarnated we have um, we have volunteered to come to this planet because we know the huge shift that was going to be happening um, we are not alone in the solar system and neither is the moon um, um, our house so a lot of people are thinking or planning to build on the moon and to move over to the moon but it's not our place okay so what is happening ascension what is ascension ascension is understanding that there is a greater networking connection of people by going in within and meditating you can ask your eyes self to connect you to the cosmic heart and the cosmic connection of people okay what is happening is that we were born being programmed and in um, and um, we are now deprogramming ourselves and understanding that we are connected whatever way you want to look at that we are connected so this is where you understand unconditional love one two you understand that you're no better than no one else three you understand that um situation it comes in your life that you attract these situations okay because i had to um when 
I've always known that I was spiritual because I, I, I always known and I remember my great great grandmother was like a hundred and four when she died, and um, I was I was very I was small, I I, I can remember, and um, I was like six or so, and um, I remember she came to me and she was talking to me and I'm like, but you, you die. And she says, no, I just transfer to um, the spirit world. And, and she was giving me all this message and all of this. And then I realized that I connect with the spirit. And, and, and I, from a child growing up, I was like, so when I, I think I was 21 and I said it to my mom, and my mom says, uh, yeah. Oh, we know that you are special. So I was like, oh, why did no one tell me? And she says, no, um, because you start reading at an early age and that sort of a thing. So life begins for me. And it's as if as a child, I knew that I I, I was always, I, I just speak out. I just, I just could not stand and... I can't stand deceptive people and deceptive situation because uh, that's how I'm going to study and to figure out. That's how I realized um, that I was a star seed in the beginning. And then I started going deeper and deeper and deeper in this. And I realized that, yeah, if you notice people who are different and it's, people call them Ade Ade, that they are straightforward they don't think about what to say and uh, like earthlings will um you know moisture that that information but star seed multi-dimension uh crystal kids uh, indigo kids pe those people just cut through the bs they just get to the point they they don't play around the bush and this is good because what is transpiring is that these are um, the people who are going to be creating positive energy grid. And these are the people that has been creating positive energy grid on this planet for a very long time. And the older we came in, because the first shower came in in the 50s. Um, and if you notice, because there is so much information and history, and every time some huge um, um, evolution happens, you can look at the point. Whoever is born in 1959, you were like the first shower that came in with the crystal, the this and the that. And then the rest born in 69, okay? So 59 and 69 is a very, very um, positive year where the showers of uh, the way showers came in in 1959. 1969 is where the rest came in but as you go to 1979 there was a shift because it went in another year so you will realize and then when we come to the 80s the 80s was when really crystalline kids were being born okay those people were just especially people who were born in 1986 um that they, they were just really 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 crystalline because they are super smart and super into into to in in into into in, 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 um their intuition is so high and they came in with nine dna strands and some had 12 dna strands so this year is a year that you're going to be finding out and there is a lot of people that you can go um you can use youtube to find them that will um align you as to who you are and what group you're connected to and one of uh, i will give you four of my favorite or um two of my most favorite person that is honest and at point and these people know exactly diana cooper and uh magenta pixie okay magenta pixie works for the nine and uh, her information is accurate and is on point okay 
um diana cooper works um she is like uh, the ambassador between heart and uh, the source okay um very there is not another person um apart from the buddha um but these are people that you can connect to um to receive uh, the information okay they don't do we are like the awakeners okay so people on youtube are like the awakeners and this is why my reading might not connect with you because you're not from my soul group okay and what i'm really realizing is that a whole lot of people i think it's a form of they're not aware how disrespectful they can leave messages and whenever you leave a disrespectful message on someone's channel that means you are having a problem with yourself okay so every time you disrespect someone else and you be rude to someone else is because you yourself is feeling so bad um most of the time it's because of jealousy um why people are disrespectful to other people and what i'm what you guys to know is that you know disrespectfulness by leaving a disrespectfulness on somebody's page if you go to somebody's channel and it doesn't the information doesn't resonate with you leave you do not have to leave a message okay because people are here to educate you okay you might think that people are doing their readings and it's just it's to educate you because they have higher wisdom than um the normal where um some people are still in the three dimension and uh, we are in the fourth and in the fifth okay um i bounce from the fourth and the fifth because of so much things that happens to me i had to I, i'm balanced in the fourth now and the fourth is unconditional love it's knowing that your child is connected is knowing that you love someone who is hurting you but yet still you love that person so much that you can't it's about not having any eight okay so when you reach that point and some people will say well i have that all my life no you don't no because not everyone has that because once you are someone that has never been been okay um this is something that is going to surprise a lot of people people who have uh, um near that experience there is two types okay all right so the first type who have near death experience and said oh my god i saw my life flip before me you are an earthling that means you were born on this planet you're not from another solar system you um you your parents or your um intergalactic and family came here and you were created here you're not from an, another universe okay um there is um five percent of this planet who are who are people and beams that come from other solar system to come here to help and volunteer with this evolution because we knew that the planet was going too close to the sun after a couple of years and that's why we came back i'm like a whole soul okay um, ever since I was a child, they're always saying it. You're an old soul. Where I would, everybody would be like, oh, blah, blah. and I said, why don't we do this and do that? And then people are like, and then my grandmother would say, well, it's from the meek of the cell. So, um, is that I can see, I can cut, um, between, I'm very logic. So, um, and that's why I do the work that I do and I'm very logic so you have to learn to fit the dots okay and this is why I say to people the answer is always in the plain sight.
the answer is always in the plain sight. And I will sit in a corporation organization and I listen to everyone who speak and I know everyone. I in, in, in a couple of minutes, I will walk in a place and and that is I will hear someone voice on the phone. And I know my clients um, that I work with, I remember this lady said, oh my God, how did you know all of that? And I said, your soul speak to me. And that is how um, we work. Some of us have the gifts. Some of us does not have the gifts. Some of us have other gifts with a card. And this is why when I'm seeing people trying to teach other people Tarak, you can't teach someone something if the person was not created um, to learn that you know um and this is that was the third dimension that was the third dimension coming in the fourth dimension in 2020 is that you're going to be finding out what you were meant to do it's a lot of people they have their kids and their kids dropped out of college and their kids dropped out of funeral and they start to cry and yeah you got a life and yet still that kid become a multimillionaire at 27 years old because um, not everyone need to go in the same process because we are all different. Okay. We're different in so many different ways. Some people are just very good at, there are some people who can't read and write, but they're very good at business. I mean, look at, um, what's his name? Um, in England, he owns that virgin. I mean, he's still a dyslexic, but the man is a millionaire. So people, we need to break out and break down that um, paragon that we place that this is how things need to be. No, you know, when you buy, when you buy um, a piece of machinery, um, it's a blender or it's a, um, a centrifuge, um, you get a book that explain to you everything that is there in that book. But, when you um, when you were born and when your child has been born, there is not a book to explain to you and tell you. They have to create their own world because they know who they are. And this is why I always said, people can't push. You don't need to push your kids. Maybe you have this built for your kids, but that is your built for your kids, okay? Your kid have and know what they were meant to be. That's why you didn't receive a book when this child was born. The only thing that you receive is a naked baby, okay? And you were given the gift to bring that baby in this world because it's another spirit, okay? And you receive this gift. So you can't plan this child life and um, tell this child what they are supposed to do because each and every person is have their own movie and their own script that was written before we all came in existence, okay? So then we have the people who um, have a death experience and they just see a pure white light and they end up in the galaxy, in the stars. They can't, they have no foot and ends because it's their soul, okay? Because the soul leaves the body. So another thing I'm going to be aware, you people, Oh my God. Okay. There are different religions and different, um, information that is coming up. So the people who goes directly to the bright light and then they end up in the galaxies because you are a star seed or you are a multi-dimension or you are a, um, uh, a, um, a star seed crystal. Uh, Blu-ray, name it. It's because you're from another galaxy. So you're going home. Your soul is going home. Everything is recorded in our soul. People who are old soul is because you have been millions and millions and millions of years 
um, that you have existed on on the planetary system and that is how this information comes back this is why some people do not feel comfortable on this planet because there is dark energy there is low energy because the people who were born on this planet and was created on this planet career only hate instead of love and people like myself come from a different solar system that creates only peace and love and if you notice that creates only peace and love and in 1968-69 was when there was peace and love there was Woodstock and all of that that is the time that I was born and created in that time span so I have never have so it says um, hate is a very strong word and I can be pissed off but you don't hate is so strong ladies and gentlemen and a lot of people have that hate in their heart and you know just ask your question yourself this question why what have this person done me or what have why do I hate this person why do I hate this thing you gotta ask your question yourself those questions and then you're gonna be realizing I have been just wasting my time and that person don't even know that I exist um, you know and, and 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 that is how you kind of confront yourself with certain things because that's how you realize that most of the things that we are so holding on to you know really um you know my 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 thing is always okay move on to the next bus stop because i have finished that karmatic thing and every time that i meet someone i always wonder okay so which lifetime who are you and why am i you know you know what is going to be happening and um it is so strange ladies and gentlemen that people um, will just create horrible or hate and jealousy for what reason seriously people it's a waste of your energy you're killing the um, the oxygen on this planet just by eating someone else really you're not hurting the other person you're hurting your own self because once you create eight and a harbor a lot of hate inside of you you are on the killing your own self it's just like people who are introvert is more capable of having a lot of sickness than people like myself who i'm gonna tell you how it is and you know you know sorry but you know that's my opinion i agree you have another opinion but i am like uh, you know so ladies and gentlemen it is the time for you to look at yourself and start healing yourself as you heal yourself heal your kids and heal your parents okay um because that is like a flow where by healing yourself you're healing your kids you're healing your parents so you basically heal in your bloodline so that you can um you know um recarnate um releasing all the the, the 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 situation and the issues that we create in our lifetimes okay it's all about restarting it's all about receiving the information now to really for yourself to go think about it and as i always said and my son always said mom google that shit always we're having these huge conversation and 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 he goes mom google that shit so i always say to people don't listen to everything i have go listen to other people okay um and then you are going to be balanced out the information um i always listen to three four seven times something the same over the same subject and then i pick out what is because you can always call your higher self and you know exactly when you hear something you know exactly what is true for you and what is not true um do i know everything no honestly no but what the information that is in my DNA and in my soul, I can use it to help other people. And this is what we're doing. 
It's about changing, changing um, humanity and changing the way we consciously think about things and changing the way we treat other people and changing the way we attract things in our life. It's, it's, a, it's, it's the time about manifesting. It's, it's learning to manifest. It's learning to write a new slate to who you want to be, that person, okay? And what is happening, ladies and gentlemen, before you start to write your slate and you want to write that, oh, I wanted it. You got to know this. Um, if you choose negative um, energy and ne to do negative things, you're going to be removed off this planet as of 2020 because the planet is preparing itself for positive energy for 2032 because life is about to change ladies and gentlemen everything is going to be digitalized 2025 there's going to be um electric cars and all of that so you know like when we grew up we had like um the cartoon the jet so <laughs> my favorite it's gonna that's where um this new century is bringing us okay and um, everyone is going to be digitalized every one of us is going to be carrying our own numbers and whether or not you want to do this this is the only way that we can protect ourselves um in a country in um a region and this is how we're protecting ourselves okay so Everything is going to be digitalized because your, you know, everything is going to be your DNA is going to be opening doors to things. This is how far it's going to go because because of what is going on and because of what we're leaving in um, this century coming in the 20, 2020 is that the shift begins 2019. Okay, and the shift was showing up the crazy people, the, the shadow side of corporation institutes. That was what the shift was all about in 2029. And I did warn you guys, okay. So as we come in, like the Tauruses are gonna be like flipping, and they started flipping from in um 2019. Tauruses started flipping because Tauruses rule. Um, institutes the organization it is the era event so Tauruses are helping to clear up negative energies in corporation and organization and bringing back positive alignment for the energies because the Taurus or hurt people now as I begin with a hurt sign and I'm doing this little zodiac and then I will go through um so Virgos it is a year of awakening and it is a year of um, connecting with your twin flames okay twin flames not soulmate twin flames twin flames the other half of you virgos okay now some of you came in because most virgos are old souls okay and that's why they're so weird okay but they're not weird because i have virgo in my birth chart um we're just really consciously connected to the unseen world okay at the source of all things okay we see beyond the illusion and that's why Virgo people are so weird. Make one, make me one of them too, because I, I have Virgo in my chart, and I have a lot of Virgo because I'm highly spiritually connected ever since I was a child. Then we have, uh, then we have um, uh, Capricorns. All right, Capricorns. Boom! It is your year. Be careful, Capricorns. Um, this year is going to. Okay, there are. Jupiter is in your planet. So when Jupiter is, is, is in your chart, you tend to do very good successfully. So you work a lot, you make a lot of money, but you get fat because you're always working and always on the go. So you never get to eat the right things. So you could gain weight in this year, Capricorns. All right, let's look at the Cancers. Cancers, you have been going through so much relationship issues. You have been clearing out, moving out. There is so many ups and downs in your marriage, your relationship. Yes, um, Cancers, you are going to be um, basically um, meeting your twin flame also. You are one of those people who are going to be connecting with your twin flame, okay? So 
it, it, you know, because you have been going through so many marriages and relationships problems, this is the year that you cancers are going to be meeting your twin flame. Okay. So let's move on. Uh, then we have, uh, um, then we have, uh, uh pisces pisces this is a good year you and the capricorns and this is why i'm, I'm i think we need to reevaluate um who we pair who up because they're saying that the capricorn and the cancers are good together and his marriage partner but you know for all what i'm seeing it is mostly the Pisces and the Capricorns who are very good. They will have like very extremely long relationships. And what I'm seeing now is that the Pisces and the Capricorn are basically having the same sort of a, they have been going through the same sort of a situation. And they've, they've, they've been really having this, the sort of a, a mirroring of the same sort of situation that they're going through. This is also a positive year for you guys. Scorpions, scorpions, scorpions. Oh my God. Scorpions, you have been up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And now finally in this year, you're going to be balancing out, but you're going to be making a lot of money. So like business people, um, a lot of scorpions, um, your, your, your business, um, business and people in a high position. There's a lot of people who are going to be climbing a lot of you scorpions in this year. And making a lot of money so this is going to be good it's just going to be fabulous all right at um uh the aries you need to create a new um a new start for yourself aries you really you really need to focus and create a new start for yourself in this year it's like recreating yourself and aries another thing i gotta get in this aries um you need to understand Listen to your name, Aries. Aries. That means your hair. You're in everything. We breed you. We, 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 without you, Aries, we can't. The other sign, the other zodiac signs cannot survive. Okay. So, um, Aries, whenever you're listening to a reading and if someone is saying something about because you guys help the other signs to create abundance in their life but also to help them to clear their karmas this is why you were born on the zodiac sign of aries the amount of aries that is born on this planet is out of proportion and that is because aries are green people okay they're hard working people but you're green, okay? And what that does is that green, if you notice, and this is why I say people that the, the information and the answer is in plain sight. Because if you listen to your, your, your name, air is, hair is what we breathe as the oxygen. So that means Aries people, within um, five, uh, 10 people, five is Aries, okay? So within some group of 10 people, 100 people, like maybe 50% could be Aries because Aries help other people to clear karma's Aries. So don't be alert when someone is going to be saying, yeah, Aries, and then you take it personal. You can't take it personal. You need to understand, accept who you are, that without you, the rest of the signs wouldn't be but that's it that's it um leos 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 what a year what a year for you leos um leos the problem is that for the leos that has been balancing and in consciousness where you are awakened and where you're realizing the shift of energy, where you have broken out of the matrix, you guys are going to be good, okay? But for the the Leos that is still using the ego, because um, 
for yeah, then you're going to be having some problems. Um, but basically balance out yourself. Okay. Now we're moving on to, um, ophiosis. Bam, 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 ophiosis. You were about to make some real, real, you are going to be connecting with yourself. You're going to be understanding who you are. You are going to be, um, inventing Elin Modalo. And that is going to be helping humanity. Um, all and checked it out. I want you to test it for yourself. People that was born November 29 to December 17, you are Ophiosis. You have the energy of the snake. The energy that snake is worldwide as um and pharmacy okay all pharmacy as that snake go back to the greeks history go back to the greek gods why is it that prescriptions are written in greek it's because in latin okay so there is just so much ladies and gentlemen i can sit here all day and explain things to you everything is in the plain sight okay now what is happening and what is transpiring um you guys are going to be bringing out new healing modalable, okay? Because it's as if an awakeningness is going to be realizing that you need to go to the healing field. So it, it, it can be um, um, song healing. It can be um, with a hand. Some of you are going to start seeing where the pressure is in a body by just looking at the person. And you can just do like this and wipe it away. And so the healing energies are going to be coming up in different forms because a, a lot of people have found it and they're using it. The thing about it is that not to ask for a lot of money because I see a lot of people are very overpriced and you need not to ask for a lot of money. And when you have a, the first client, you need to do everything for this first client, clear all their block energies because that is what you guys are basically doing is cleaning all the block energies and as you clean all the block energies you're releasing all the darkness so what is happening and what is transpiring is that you're seeing and you're understanding um the situation where you're transiting and removing um deceptive situation okay so um I want to say, um, Sagittarius, brilliant, 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 whatever the issue is and the situation is, Sagittarius, this is so, so brilliant. Whatever is transpiring and happening, I see positive alignment of energies for you, Sagittarius, okay? So that is good. That is just powerful. What I want to say to a lot of people also is that corrupt organization is going to be ending. Um, um, via my research, I came up on something that was just so deceptive. Ladies and gentlemen, who are looking for a new job, um, you need to apply to the company itself, okay? And companies, you need to create a, um, a personal officer that is going to look through application and stop using these third parties because third parties are selling your information and changing your information. Do you understand what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? So for people who were going through third parties looking for jobs, stop doing that and go directly to the company because the third parties are the people who are selling your information and changing your information, okay? Another thing that I realized on my research is that uh, there is a lot of third party companies that um you know recruit people what they do basically is get people information and sell it to people who are um trafficking and then you have different organization that get these illegal people and set them in organizations okay i'm like every organizations there's no difference so, ladies and gentlemen, you got to be aware of where you give your information, how you solicitate your information, because people 
see who you are, your background, and they change and sell your information to um, Mensa smuggling organization and institute. So there's someone else in the other in an, in, a, in, 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 in another side of the world that is using your information without you knew, knowing that. And this is what is going to happen in 2020 is that government institutes organization is going to come down very hard on these people because they started to do it in in um, the year 2020. You need to protect your Internet. Whatever is happening, protect your Internet. Learn to know where your IP, your EP address is. OK, learn. That was something that um. I was taught by my, my by a good friend and it helped me out because I was in one country and my EP address was in another country and I was trying to find out. But now it can actually protect you. Um, but the person who was doing it, it was illegal what they were doing. So that is another thing. But what what can do now is that I realize you can protect yourself by using um different system that change your EP address so people can't break in your system okay the criminals know it so I'm telling people to help people so be aware you can use a, a certain system to change your EP address so people can't break in your computers because that was one of the issue that has transpired that I found out that my EP address was rooted someplace else and I remember when I called the company and I said I do not have a service with you. Why my EP address is uh, rooted by you? And they and then they were looking at it and they were like, yeah, that's kind of strange. And then a man called me back and he says, take your computer off the internet because someone is doing something very deceptive. And that was in 2012. And that is when I started because other other things happen, happen, happen. And that was when I started investigating what exactly was happening. So ladies and gentlemen, protect your internet, protect yourself, okay? Learn to know where is your EP address so that you can know who is accessing because there's a lot of criminals. And this is why I can't understand that um, criminals can take down people company and block people company so that they can't use their internet. Because if you're good, company you're going to protect your internet service and you're going to be making sure that you are and a lot of people especially and this is what i always say people who are accountants you should never leave your computer open you should never leave your computer on and safe mode that is how people break in your computer because if a, if a hacker is just scanning your company you leave your 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 computer on just safe mode no okay because ladies and gentlemen i know what they have done because whoever someone plays something on um and you know people can set apps and place things on your computer and they access all of your information ladies and gentlemen be aware of what is happening because this is the age where hacking and and stealing of people information and that's why the governments are going to come down so hard on these people because of uh, um these deceptive things people information innocent innocent people that has nothing nothing to do with anything is being caught up in a very deceptive things of people smuggling and selling people who are buying information you need to stop it you can't just buy people personal information. It's a reason why people are named and people have personal information. Another thing, ladies and gentlemen, if you have three or four names, make sure that your first name is spelled out, you're in middle initials or in initials, and your last name is there. That's the only way someone else cannot use your identity. You need to be aware of these things. Don't let people tell you, no, 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 it's only your first name or your second name. No, the reason why your parents and why you have four or five names is because that is what you, you should have because you're clearing a cycle. You're going through your karmatic situation. Each and every letter in a name, you are experiencing that, okay? Um, the secret is in your name. Let no one else use your name. 
Through my research, what I've realized is that a lot of corporations and institutes see, and a lot of people and, you know, that made me so sad to find out what was going on. There is certain organization that recruit and what they do is that um, their friends can't pass and, um, um, you know, those recruit tests and they use you to do the test and then they put someone else to use your name. Ladies and gentlemen, be aware. If you um, go to one of these organizations and you have done the test because you get the, the result of the test directly and you do that test one time per year, it's one time that per year that test is supposed to be done. Depends on which, what sort of an organization institute say. Accounts and um, bookkeepers do the test one time per year. If you are called to do the test two, three, four times per year, it's because they're using your information to get their friends a job that cannot pass the test, okay? And they will say to you, no, the test is not for you to pass. The test is just, no, no, no. The test is for you to pass. The higher the test is, is the higher your salary pay. I am awakening people because there's a lot of people and when I found out the deceptiveness that these people were doing and if and when you do this remember to call them and said yes my test is done um when can I go for my interview there is such a deceptiveness that I have found out and it doesn't have to be all over the world but what I have found out that was happening is that some people do not speak certain languages. They can't get certain jobs, but they use other people who are educated to do these tests and then they bring their friends and then they um, bring in these criminal um, people who buy papers to go in certain country and then use other people information like they will know that someone is very good so they call up the person said can you do a test because we have a job and you don't get the job and why you don't get the job is because someone in the organization used their friends that can't speak the language and can't pass the test to make you do the test and they gave it to their friends so their friends is moving up the ladder and you're sitting out sitting at home can't get a job it's not that you can't get a job you are profession enough to get a job, but they use your information in order to get their friends and they constantly make you do the test. And this is what for straight people, you guys know it out there and you know exactly what. And this is why some people just back away and they start to do their candle, making their candles, baking, doing this on YouTube. These are educated people, ladies and gentlemen. So don't look at anyone stupid on YouTube to think that people who does reading on YouTube is stupid. No, it's because they realize the deceptiveness that is going in corporations. And this is why they realize I can't fight it alone because even if I tell someone, no one will believe me. Not me, people out there. But when I was researching this and I stood back and I look and I realized, oh, that's how it goes. Alrighty. Wow. So all those people that is really educated is good for the position, never gets the position because someone else does the test, they come in and, you know, if you go in a company and a company, only if you're not a freelancer and this is what you do. If you go in a company and they said, oh, can you write the prostitute to so-and-so, especially your boss, that means your boss is not aware of the, how um, the procedure of the process of that department is run and that is why they want you to do it okay so if you realize and you know if you're really um smart you will see this at the beginning of a solicitation uh, so um uh, uh interview that if you have like a lot of years of service you will see that people will pick that up 
and they will take you on and they will want you to write all these procedures and why it is is because you have years of service you know how things where the problems is going to be coming up and i see a lot of that happen and whenever you realize that look for it a, a new job um because obviously your boss or your supervisor is not aware um, of the pros to do and they're using you and they're going to take the credits to you. Now, this is the sort of example that is going to be happening in 2020 when these sort of things is just going to be fading out. Um, it's just going to be released and removed and fade out because um, it's as if the shift on the planet is that you need to be positive. If you're not positive, if you're not caring, um, a positive energy vibration, if you're not being honest and working for organization and accessing people information and not being honest, you can't be here. Okay. So it's all about, um, yeah. Resetting of the button. It's all about, yeah. Removing the dust under the carpet. It's all about, uh, you know, vacuuming and cleaning up. Um, 2020 is all about. So ladies and gentlemen, if I, um, forget anything, um, you know, the most important thing is that I am really, really wishing you, um, a really wonderful, um, really, really wonderful, um, positive alignment of energies. I want to say thank you so, so much to, um, connecting with my channel and um I, you know youtube has changed up a lot which i am happy with um because it's much easier because i have a busy schedule so um use the link notification join the channel and i i'm wishing you guys such wonderful wonderful um beautiful months to come uh enjoy ladies and gentlemen this new start, this new gift, this new start. And again, thanks to the person in Florida that really alerted me as to um, what was going to happen. Thank you so much. I have another live. Bye.